Hello everybody. I have my Miltronics VM15 set up with a spider cool. Thought I'd give you a little quick uh, video showing you it working. Uh, it's connected to the head of the machine and it points at the tool and you can adjust it for however long your tool is or however long your tool holder is. It's got a couple different modes it works in and it remembers its setting for each tool. So in my case I have a 20 tool carousel and um, it's remembering settings for 20 tools. Right here on my controller uh, there's a little button on the side here, this button, and the way this works is if I push this button in, I'm going to try and do this while you can see it, but if I push this button in one time, okay, and then I turn the button, I can adjust the direction with the nozzles pointing. Keep going up and down. See there? Once I get it to where I want it, I just push it in twice and it locks it in that spot. And it will then remember that setting when it, as it uses this tool and when it comes back to this tool again. Now one more cool mode that this thing has is uh, a sweeping mode where it will move the nozzle up and down a longer tool. The tool I have in here right now is probably sticking down about two and a half inches and I don't really need this feature here but I'm going to show it to you anyway. What you do is you go back to this knob, you push it in one time and then you set the, you set the coolant position to like the top, in this case it would be fine. I push the knob in one time, and then I adjust it down to pretty much the bottom of the tool. And when I push it in again, you see what it does? It automatically goes through a mode where it sweeps through the, the uh, two positions, and it constantly sweeps through those positions. It really works good when you're drilling a deep hole, because it, uh, it, it's always going to make sure that you get some coolant. Um, right as the drill, where the drill is going through the, or penetrating the material. Now if it's in the oscillation mode and you want to put it back into the normal mode, it's just a matter of pressing the button one time. To stop oscillating and you adjust the flow to where you want it in this case it's already pretty close to where I like it and then you just push the button in twice one two and it's done they don't remember that setting there's a lot of talk about the spider cool and whether or not it really can do all, all situations of coolant delivery. Well, it cannot. Um, it works really well, though, um, in situations where you have a lot of different tools and the tools have a lot of different tool uh, lengths to them. Um, I don't know if we can see mine, but I have some very long tools in there and some short tools. Not really, can't see it too well. Um, and I always use uh, a set of lock lines on the back side to make sure that you get some coolant going in on the back side because when like in this part here I'm going to be cutting it's a tall part and once it gets down to the lower levels of it you're going to you're going to need that coolant delivered on that back side pretty much where the tool is right now the now it's gone on around so but um, it's that one spot that can't really be reached too easily. Um, this part that I'm cutting is titanium, 6.4 titanium, and that's one of the reasons why it's making so much noise. I'm trying to talk loud enough. To... Anyway, um, that's about it.